Hello everyone. Today I will going to introduce uh, our paper Balance Fairness and Efficiency for Cache Sharing in Semi External Memory System. Uh, I will first uh, give a motivation of our studies and next day uh, our work in like semi external memory allocation and then have an experimental uh, evaluation that last uh, conclude and a future work. Now that we know yeah, in, in the big data uh, errors, big data caching is quite important because for many of real applications, yeah, the diff, they have a different data access frequency. And uh, in order to have a real-time data access, we need to cache some whole data in the cache so that uh, we can have a uh, faster speed of data access. We here, we can see this uh, YouTube, uh, this DOM, and uh, we can see there are yeah, different data view for different uh, data, yeah, data. So we need to be aware of this, yeah, the data distribution during our data catching. And also, uh, for data catch, cache sharing is also, yeah, a trend for multiple users because cache sharing can bring many benefits. One benefit is that for the catch, yeah, utilization, we can use all load user to use other resource from the underload users so that uh, the catch utilization can be maximized. And also for multiple users, they generally yeah, have some shared data access, like they access the same data. For this uh, uh, same of data, so we can yeah, use in data catching technology, we just need to keep one copy. So we can improve the catch yeah, efficiency rather than yeah, keep multiple copies. And also, cache sharing, yeah, we can enable global efficient optimization. Later, we are discuss, yeah, for global efficient optimization. And uh, now, there are many, uh, yeah, uh, cache systems like Redis, Memory Cache, and uh, Lux can support this. Uh, but the current, uh, yeah, yeah, preferred device, yeah, cache device is still run. They can yeah, have faster data access for big, for big data. But uh, one problem for DRAM is that its cap capacity is limit given yeah the big for big data caching. So how can we yeah, address it? One uh, good solution using the same external memories it means use yeah overcome the capacity limit lim limitation of DRAM with SSD. Yeah, we can yeah let. SAD and uh, DRAM together, they can yeah, work together as a catch. Yeah, here's models. Yeah, multiple users they can access the data. Yeah, the catch data in the same external memories. I mean, uh, data can be cached in DRAM or SSD. Uh, although you can see the difference between DRAM and the SAD is that uh, the latency for DRAM is much smaller than SAD, but uh, SAD has much larger size than DRAM. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, uh, they can complement, complementary to each other's. So catch heat means if the data access to DRAM or SD is catch heat, catch means it means the data access to SD. Uh, so in this study, we try to, yeah, study the catch location for SEM. So we want, first problem is we need to Integrate DRAM and SSD together for, yeah, we integrate together for the whole allocations. So in this study, we uh, con integrate them by aware of their different data access latency. For example, if the latency ratio of DRAM to SSD is uh, one divided by six, so then that means one GB DRAM can trade for six GB SSD. That means uh, one GB DRAM is the equivalent to 6 GB SSD, yeah, they can trade. So with this, yeah, approach, we can combine them together. So, and also another uh, issue is user generally care about the total location kind of resource for all storage device in SEM rather than separate, uh, yeah, allocation like in DRAM or SAD, yeah, the separate allocation. So we needn't consider the separate one, we just consider the all allocation. And uh, they have different allocation poly catch allocation policy. And uh, for these different allocation policies, generally, they can result 
yeah, in different head fairness or efficiency. So these two, yeah, have an important one, but have different, yeah, result for different allocation policies. So in order to better understand, here we consider three different allocation policies by having a motivating example, yeah, next. So we consider global sharing policy using, for example, LFU, this is very popular ones. And uh, another separate maximum fairness policy. We yeah, just uh, consider the maximum fairness separate for DRAM and uh, for SSD. And uh, the third one is uh, global maximum fairness policy. That means we yeah, consider DRAM and SSD together for the maximum fairness policy. Oh, here is uh, examples here. So this uh, SEM systems with uh, 100 GB DRAM and uh, 300 GB SSDs. And uh, two users, U1 and U2, they have two yeah, different data with different access frequency. So here is the uh, data access frequency. So now we try to allocate a resource. For example, if we use a global sharing policy, the resulting allocation can be like this. Because user one, they have larger data access frequency for its data. So they possess all the allocations uh, of the SEM system. So this is the resulting allocation. And this is uh, the uh, finally yeah, normalized allocation. Yeah, 100 divided by 1. Yeah, 300 divided by 6. Yeah, and uh, this uh, efficiency, corresponding efficiency. So for user 2, they have no allocation. So the result is zero. So the final uh, result for fairness on fairness degree is uh, like this, and uh, for efficiency is uh, yeah, so, uh, thirteen thousand. If we use another like separate maximum fairness policy, we can get the result like this. For the DRAM, we just uh, yeah use the maximum fairness yeah separately, and for SSD we. Yeah, separately use maximum fairness policy. So yeah, you can. This is the divide by two. Yeah, equally half. Yeah, and this is the half. So this is the final result as we get for user one is seventy five and user two. Yeah, allocation seventy five. So on fairness degree is zero means the perfect fairness. And but efficiency. Yeah, for user one is six thousand eight hundred thirty three, and the user two is one. 1315. So final, yeah, SEM efficiency, yeah, then plus this and this together, and we can get uh, 8,283. If we, yeah, instead use another uh, policy called global maximum fairness policy, we do not consider the separate, yeah, uh, fairness allocation for each device. We consider the overall allocation. Yeah, fairness policy. So we can get the result allocation like this. So user one, yeah, we allocation and user two allocation. Still, we can keep them, yeah, equally, yeah, the same. And uh, user one efficiency can then be at this, and the user two is this. So finally, so we get the uh, unfairness degree. Still, yeah, unfairness degree is zero. Yeah, it's perfect fairness. And the efficiency, you can, yeah. Plus them together, we can get uh, like this, uh, 8,800, which is uh, is larger than the separate maximum fairness policy. So we can that, then get the observation that there's a fairness and the efficiency, there's a trade-off between them. And the global maximum fairness policy has better efficiency than the separate maximum fairness policy. So in this study, so Later, we consider the global maximum fairness policy. So next, we yeah, now discuss about how, yeah, how can we balance fairness efficiency yeah, with a uh, uh, proposed policy. So now we we can see here, since there's a trade-off between the fairness efficiency, so if we want to have some improved fairness efficiency, we need to sacrifice some fairness. So for fairness, we need to uh, have some uh, classification used like uh, strict fairness and the relaxed fairness. For strict fairness is uh, the 100 perfect fairness. It means the, yeah, each user has the same allocation. And the relaxed fairness, it means that some on the, yeah, allow some yeah, unfairness. There are some, yeah, we can keep the unfairness 
yeah, be, be, uh, is between yeah, uh, the difference be, uh, is less than uh, values threshold values. So in this study, in order to yeah balance the fairness and efficiency, we need to yeah we can max we need to consider relaxed fairness. So our work is try to maximize the efficiency. Why to uh, keep the relaxed fairness? So we propose uh, in order to address we propose a relaxed SEM policy. So we this policy we have two uh, state of location. One is fairness state allocation, another efficient state allocation. The fairness state allocation is for relaxed fairness guarantee. After relaxed fairness have been guaranteed, we consider uh, relaxed efficiency allocation. So this is uh, not allo uh, our the details of our policy, elastic SEM. Yeah, here we, yeah, this allocation. This part is uh, the data ev ev eviction part. We divide user in two sets. One is Phoenix guarantee user set, and uh, another is not guaranteed user set. We based on the the soft fairness, uh, relaxed fairness, uh, the allocation compared to relaxed fairness allocation. If it's less than, it means not guaranteed. If it's larger than, it has been guaranteed. So now we check whether yeah, if there other resource, if there is no other resource, means we need to evict some data from the catch. So yeah, which data should be catch? We yeah how to yeah whether it's weak or not we based on this uh, condition yeah if it's uh, fairness not guaranteed yeah we need to weak some data or this priority is larger than the catch data also we yeah also need to weak some data so here's yeah priorities can be frequency and uh, or uh, last occasion or some others yeah for details and I recommend order to go to read our papers. Here for Elex SEM, these are big problems. Uh, they also have cheating problems. So here is examples. Yeah, consider pure examples. Here we use a null. Yeah, one point five. This is a yeah allocation result. You can see with this allocation, user two can only get uh, yeah the final allocation seventeen seven point five, and this uh without cheating if we have cheating by yeah let is uh, second data much larger than is uh, the user one's data they count the location like this yeah the final location the result is 120.5 so they can be get benefit from this uh, cheating problem so here we propose policy try to address it so how can we address it like this we on top of the elast SEM policy, we propose cheating detection and punishment mechanism. So if there's a date, this here is a data flaw. If there's a data come, yeah, we first determine, yeah, this data has been catched or not. Yeah, if it's not catched, so we use the elast SEM policy. And then the this policy will give a yeah final uh, result. Is data should be catched or not? Is yeah, if say even keep catch means catch miss. If you say ah uh, can be catch, so we next consider is this data should come from the fairness uh, elastic uh, stage allocation. If from the fairness state allocation means uh this data yeah is for fairness stage, it means cheating yeah just harm itself. So we don't need them to use the cheating detection. So yeah okay just directly catch hit. Is it from the same user? From the same user, also no need to check, detect. So just the catch hit. If not from the same users here, we need to, yeah, I mean, we come from the efficient allocation, we need to detect. Say, yeah, is it, yeah, uh, yeah, is it a cheating user or not? So we here is, uh, we detect. So we need first uh, determine, say, is, uh, yeah, we use a delay based approach for delay time is delay interval is less than if we just say less it means we currently we should punish so it's we catch miss. If we say no, we detect it. If we say hey it's cheating users, so we can miss. It's not cheating user, so we catch hit. So we have a, we input, we add some yeah uh punish mechanism and also cheating detection policy, try to yeah, 
let user not to cheat. So this can port, uh, address the cheating problems. So now we come to evaluate our Elastic SEM policy. Here is an experiment set up. We use a, a looks. We implement our approach in a looks uh, in memory file system. So we have clusters, eleven nodes, each has eight GPU sixteen. We configure four GB memory SSD RAM and uh, use eight GB memory to emulate uh, SSDs and uh, have a macro benchmark and a micro benchmarks. This is uh, Facebook uh, to do and TVCH and micro benchmark is two users forty files equally share ACM cache allocation. Uh, for more details, can we go to our papers? So the first example, uh, the first uh, experiment is uh, for cheating detection and punishment. Here, yeah, we use a global resource sharing policy. User one, they can cheat and 400 uh, uh, data access. And then you can say, yeah, when they cheat, yeah, for AFU, they can get benefit because it's the average response time yeah, reduced to get benefit. And here, user two, yeah, they yeah, cheat. They also can yeah, reduce its average response time. Means also get get benefit. So cheating problem occur in global resource sharing. And uh, instead, if you use Elastic ACM, if you cheat at four hundred, yeah, your average response time not reduced, but you but increased. So cheating harm is self. And similarly for user two, when you cheat, your yeah average time yeah increased significantly. So cheating harm itself. So user will not go to cheat. And another is a knob evaluation for fairness and efficiency. Here we consider two users under different scenarios. One hundred one a this is one scenario. Another scenario means they have different uh they have yeah. To uh, the 45 different data access frequency, the data is the same, one GB, and uh, this is uh, different access uh, uh, patterns. This is a zip app. This is normal distribution. This is zip app. This is normal. So we can get the different uh, scenarios and uh, different result. Also, this is a different data size. This is for user two, different data size. For yeah. And this is for user one at different data size, the data size of the set, yeah, different data block size. So finally, we get the conclusion that, yeah, there is a trade-off between the fairness and efficiency, and uh, the such no, yeah, the trade-off can be uh, related to catch data distribution data size. Now we can yeah have a look at performance comparisons. Here there are yeah several different uh, allocation policy like uh, isolation LFU and Elastic SEM on different nodes and maximum fairness. So we consider its CDF and uh, corresponding to average response times. So if we uh, fix the average response time, the larger CDF means uh, it's much better. So performance is better. Similarly, if we fix the uh, CDF, yeah, the same CDF likes uh, 1.6. If the less average response time means uh, it uh, have better performance. So we can fix the CDF, that means, uh, yeah, the smaller average response time for FU, and next is uh, the Elastic SEM, yeah, MOB is 1.0, uh, 0, 0.0. So the second one is uh, 0 0.5, and the next one is uh, the maximum fairness and the then the yeah second the second uh, last one is uh, Elastic one point zero and the worst one is uh, isolation. So we can see here so we yeah our Elastic SEM is uh, very good. So finally conclude our works means first there's a trade off between fairness and efficiency for our study for resource allocation SEM catch and second one is. Uh, yeah, we need uh, to integrate DRAM and SAD for or SEM as a whole when considering fairness and efficient optimization resource application. And to yeah, for this we propose a not bad fairly efficient catch allocation policy called Elastic SEM to address it. Here we show particularly these are cheating problems, and then we propose a cheating policy, detection and punishment policy on top of Elastic SEM. 
and uh, we experimentally show that elasticity and uh, yeah, it can be flexibly balanced trade-off efficiency while addressing the cheating problem. Thank you.